Hey y'all, so a couple of weeks ago I got to see a friend from the AT, another through hiker um, and I haven't seen any through hikers since finishing the trail in Maine um, and so it was my first time. I was really excited. Um, I don't know if y'all remember seeing him in the videos or not because he was kind of shy uh, so I didn't focus the, the camera on him too much but he was with me for a lot of the videos um, well a certain stretch anyway that y'all saw um, about a two to three week stretch and uh, anyway, so I got to ask him a few questions. We met up and had dinner and everything, and it was really good catching up with him. Um, but his name is South Pole, and uh, I do have a few clips of him um, in some videos, but some times that y'all might remember anyway that he was there. But I'm going to uh, let you see some pictures from that stretch of trail while I'm talking about it so that you don't have to stare at me the whole time. Just to give you a little background information, I met South Pole at an incredibly grim time during my through hike. I had just returned to the trail from being home after Sugar died and burying her and everything. And the friends that I had made along the way, uh, what y'all know as the fam or anyone else that was in that bubble for that matter, were now a week or more ahead of me. And to top it all off, my plantar fasciitis was at an all time painful peak. So mentally, physically, and emotionally, I was just a wreck. And the new people I met at the time when I got back on the trail in Pennsylvania, they were all nice, but you know, they had already formed their little groups, kind of like the fam was to me. And it was almost like I had changed to a new high school halfway through my senior year. I guess that's what it's comparable to. But after a couple days back on the trail, I met this very shy and quiet fella named South Pole. And he told me about how he wanted to work at the South Pole someday, so um, I thought that was pretty cool. But uh, we really clicked when I found out he lived in South Carolina, you know, he's from the South. And so after talking for a while, um, I realized that South Pole was also about a week or so behind his group of friends. He had been injured in Pennsylvania, he broke his toe. And uh, he took some time off um, to try to let it heal. And I think, you know, mentally he was just kind of in a slump. Um, I think he was struggling a little bit with like losing weight and all of that. So he took some time off, but luckily he just pushed through the Pennsylvania blues like I did. And, you know, most people have Virginia blues, but uh, I think South Pole would agree that he and I both experienced Pennsylvania blues. So um, luckily we both pushed through and got back on the trail and we're able to meet up because then we decided, hey, we can work on building our tra trail legs back together. You know, we can night hike together. We can push through and try to catch up with our friends. And so we kind of had a common goal. So South Pole and I um, reached a couple of mile markers together. Um, we crossed over the Pennsylvania, New Jersey border together. We uh, passed mile 1300 together. And I don't know how many mosquito massacres we participated in together, but basically that's where you stop on the trail when you're being followed by swarm, because you can't outrun them. So you just stop and you let all of the ones that you can possibly stand land on you. And then you just slap them and you just have a mosquito massacre. So it's actually kind of fun. But, um, and then also South Pole helped me learn the lyrics to the song, We Didn't Start the Fire. So at that time I was trying to learn that song and he would quiz me and help me learn it so um but anyway we uh, also one of the cool things we hiked through a blue moon together so in new jersey and um i had never hiked during a blue moon but once in a blue moon <laughs> i night hiked in new jersey but anyway so um yeah i i guess we finally parted ways uh when i made my side trip to new york city and south pole finished um, quite a bit sooner than I did, so he really, he got set on fire and got gone, but, um, anyway, I don't know how much South Pole knows that, uh, meeting him and hiking with him was really, um, important to my journey, because if I hadn't met him, I, you know, who knows what I've ha what would have happened, and, um, it was just really uplifting, and I think that, you know, everything happens for some reason, and everyone that we meet in life we encounter that person for one reason or another. So thank you so much, South Pole, for the time that, you know, we had together and how much you helped me get through a lot of the stuff that I probably wasn't showing was bothering me. So, <laughs> but anyway, so here um, is the video for this week. 
Okay, enjoying this pretty view. I'm starting my new foot care. I don't know, routine, I guess you could call it. I'm going to prop my feet up for 15 minutes every three miles or so. Take a little break. See if it helps. Plus, it gives me an excuse to enjoy stuff like this. We do the trail too. That's trail magic. Does it weigh one pound? I think it's a little over pound. It's actually quiet. There's some things you just like. I also carried a bongo for a while too. I found it and um, I took the. I'm train, a veteran um, through hacker. Yeah, I never say it right, but that point is. Listening it's to all the advice, propping my feet up, and enjoying cold PBR. This is the Church of the Mountain Hostel. It's donation base. This is the bunk room and the shower. Yes, they have a shower with shampoo and conditioner. Bathroom. You can even tent outside. Some dirty hickers. Pretty nice place. This is the blue moon. Go and hack in once in a blue moon. Gonna not hack a little bit tonight. Good morning. I am approximately like 40 or so miles from Perk and I think like 65 or so from uh, Mountain Goat and Rebel Yell. So uh, my feet are doing pretty good. And I think I am going to try to catch up with them. But to kill the time while I'm doing so, I have been learning a song. <laughs> trying to remember all the lyrics to it. So, I'm sure you've probably heard it before. Harry Truman, Doris Day, Red China, Johnny Ray, South Pacific, Walter Winchell, Joe DiMaggio. Joe McCarthy, Richard Nixon, Studebaker, Television, North Korea, South Korea, Marilyn Monroe. That's what I got so far. <laughs> But I'm working on it. So I'm being chased by a cloud of mosquitoes right now. And I'm literally trying to hike very fast so that, hey, what's up? Attacking me. There's like little blood spots on me. Not from where I've mashed them, but from like where they're extracting my blood. It's disgusting. I just can't hike fast enough. They're like freaking pterodactyls. At the high school substitute teaching today, and um, but I got a message from South Pole. I don't know if y'all remember him, but anyway, we hiked a good section together, crossed into New Jersey together from Pennsylvania. But anyway, he is in Auburn, so hoping to meet up with him and catch up this evening. We'll see what happens. I'm on the way to meet South Pole right now. I reckon we're going grab something to eat or something like that and just catch up a little bit and I am going to ask him some questions for y'all so you can see uh, another point of view from the other side of completing the Appalachian Trail. Alright, yay! Sammy and South Pole, got to see each other again. First time I've seen somebody off trail but you've seen other people, right? Just one so far. Yeah. No two. Who is that? Sunshine? Sunshine. Yeah. I didn't know Sunshine but he knew Sunshine. So I have a few questions. Your start and finish dates. Started May 1st mm -hmm. and summited Katahdin on the 22nd of September. So, wow, that was that's pretty impressive, actually. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. And uh, where are you from? From Wahala, South Carolina. Okay. Yeah, that's how me and South Pole like we got to talking and everything, and he was like, "Yeah, I'm from a place in South Carolina, but you probably don't know the name of it." And I was like, <laughs> "Well, the only town I really remember from South Carolina is the place called Walhalla." And he's like, "Yeah, that's the that's the place. I think that's kind of how yeah, it went." Just but, down the road. Yeah. Um. But you said that it was actually the history of Walhalla. You said oh, something about like it was originally uh, settled by Germans in 1850. So it was like. Valhalla. Valhalla. Yeah, there yeah. you go. A little history lesson. And how has it been 
adjusting back to society? Like, what has been weird for you? So, like, for me, it's, I don't know, well, there are a lot of things, but, yeah. What, what are you? Well, I'm a computer programmer, mm -hmm. and uh, I didn't touch a computer for five months. Yeah. And I, I'll remember when I sat down at a computer for the first time at the end. Did it feel weird? Yeah, I looked at the keyboard, and I was like, I don't know what any of this stuff is. <laughs> like, uh, But it really surprised me how fast you get get back. Like riding a bicycle? Yeah, you get used to normal life. Do you wear deodorant? No. I don't really either. <laughs> did you wear deodorant before? Uh, every day, yeah. Yeah, I did too, pretty, yeah. much, pretty much. But yeah, I don't really either. And you said you don't, we talked earlier, we already had dinner, so I cheated kind of. But, yeah. uh, and you don't bathe as much as you used to? Not a big fan of showers, really. Yeah, me neither. What's, what's the point? I didn't wash my hair today. I didn't wash yeah. really, I kind of bathed off a little bit, but I didn't actually. Yeah, how long was it, how many days without bathing was your max on the trail? It must have been the 100 mile wilderness. Okay. I, went, I went for 10 days. 10 days? I did like seven. Yeah, yeah. that's good. Yeah. <laughs> is it? <laughs> it is what it is, yeah. Okay, um, so PCT. Any plans? Um, I would say if you asked me when I was on the top of Katahdin, I would have said definitely not, no way. Um, not no, but heck no. Yeah, but it seems a lot more possible now. Yeah. Although not this year, not next year. I'm trying to talk him into 2017. Yeah. Of course, I don't know for sure if I'm going 2017, but. I'll go see what it's like. Yeah. Yeah. Will you come do a section? Sure. <laughs> awesome. Uh, and what would you say to somebody who was interested in hiking the Appalachian Trail? So like if somebody was like, you know, I've been thinking about it, or if they contacted you and was like, hey man, what can you tell me about this? Uh, uh, I would say, don't worry if you've never backpacked before, because I've never done an overnight backpacking trip until I was at the top of Springer Mountain. And uh, I did it for 140 days or so. And uh, that was my first overnight backpacking trip. Yeah, mine, yeah. mine too. And I feel like there are more people than I thought, like in that same boat of never. Yeah, it's, backpacking. it's not like outdoorsy people that no. know how to build shelters no and, and, stuff. and you don't hunt your own yeah. animals what you don't that's not how you survive out there yeah I what mean, was the hardest part of the trail for you uh food is difficult um yeah. the more food you carry the slower you go and the slower you go the more food you need yeah because it's longer between towns so it's, it's always tough deciding between more food versus trying to go faster yeah the struggle is real yeah and what do you think of Opelika? <laughs> We're in Opelika, by the way, my home, South Pole. It's my first time in Alabama, and uh, I think it's a cool town. It's yeah. very clean. Yeah, that is true. Yeah. It's kind of small, but we're moving along here in Opelika. So, I like it. You yeah. should check it out. Yeah, awesome. Okay, well, we're going to go like hang out now, so bye. Okay, so I am here at Amicalola uh, State Park. And I am about to hike the approach trail. Uh, just weighed my pack in and signed the registration.